All right, hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. We got a little tip install hack for you. Um, for, this is for drivetrains, chain line issues. If you're having a really bad chain line issue, this is really common with 12 speed chains, which this is, and full suspension bikes. This is like the perfect storm for bad chain lines because you got all this componentry here that's made to like swivel your, your swing arm back here. And so you got to bump out the chain. So what we were having here, it was just a nightmare. We had to play Goldilocks with like eight different chain rings to get it work. Either the motor was too far in and no chain line would clear right here on your chain stay, which is probably what you're dealing with if you're watching this video now. So your teeth are hitting this chain stay. It's a really aggressive chain stay. If you could see right in here, it comes out from the bottom bracket and then it takes a hard left turn and the teeth were just hitting it. So really quick, you come back out chain and then I'll show you what we did. This is a Lecky Pro 42. So the Pro is made for these 12 speed chains from 10 to 12 speed chains because these are thinner. So you need a special tooth profile. The standard 42 tooth by Lecky is not going to fit this. The chain doesn't want to sit in it and you're going to get frustrating. You're going to spend a lot of money buying back and forth sending back and forth these these chain rings so what you're going to want to do is just get the, the the 42 pro and then what we did is we just took three of the bottom bracket spacers which are these three bottom bracket spacers bumped it out as much as possible and then i don't know if you could come to the other side you're going to see it's not going to leave a whole lot of thread here but what you're going to have to do you, you put on that little triangle mounting plate here and then we're only going to be able to use the inner lock ring um, the outer lock ring is just not gonna not gonna fit. That's just the, the cost to pay for having a good chain line. Okay, so I was just editing this video and I thought I'd do a little editorial note here. There's two different ways that you can do this and I'm, I thought I noticed this as I was editing this. Normally I would recommend bumping the motor all the way against the frame as much as it'll go without actually hitting anything and then putting spacers on the chain ring in between the motor and the spacer which you could totally do either way. It doesn't necessarily affect anything. The only reason why I would say do that is so that you still have threads to, you know, to put that inner lock ring on. If you have plenty of threads, like we do, we have plenty of threads. We just won't be able to put the um, outer lock ring on most likely. Um, then you could use it either, either way. Bottom bracket spacers are way cheaper than the uh, chain ring spacers. And I would have to put on probably four or five of those at like eight bucks a pop. So that's like $50 in little tiny spacers. Or those bottom bracket, space, bottom bracket spacers are about a dollar a piece. So it was an economic choice that I just went that way. Um, if you have the, enough room in the bottom bracket, our bottom bracket was only 68 millimeters. So we were able to make a choice. But you may not be able to have a choice, so you may have to put the motor in first and then bump out the chain ring. So just keep that in mind with your build. Yeah, so if you're running into this issue, Lecky Pro 42 is the chain ring you need. And now look it. Before we were putting on the stock 40, the 44, we were trying this with the BBS 02. This is a BBS HD motor. The stock 44 tooth, the chain fit, but the chain line was, was terrible. And the stock chain chain ring teeth don't grab onto the chain. The Lecky, it's narrow wide tooth profile, grabs onto the chain because the chain has narrow wide links. So this really grabs onto it. It's almost like putting super glue on these teeth and it just grabs onto it. So now we're in the lowest gear and look at this thing. This thing is like a 50 tooth. This thing is gonna be massive. Even with a 42 here, 50 in the back, this thing is gonna be a hill climbing monster and you could still use it. So, the Pro HD, it's only made for the HD. So if you're having chain line issues, if you got a 12 speed, you're gonna wanna be looking at the HD. I, I would probably avoid going with the O2. There's still a chance you might be able to get it to work, but yeah. Anyways, hopefully this helped you guys. If you're running into this, if you have a full suspension bike with a 12 speed, especially, you're gonna wanna go with the HD with the HD Pro chain line. Uh, if you got more help, call the shop, book a consultation, um, go to the website, johnnynerdout.com for more help if you want to do a deep dive onto your specific bike to hopefully help 
you know, not waste a bunch of money. These aren't super cheap. So you don't want to be buying these and then sending them back and returning them. You want to buy it right the first time if at all possible. So head to johnnynerdout.com. We'll help you get squared away the first time. Thanks guys.